Hey guys, what's going on? Boxcar here. Figured I'd just take this time today. Um, I went ahead and put my kit together for my uh, upcoming 2018 Appalachian Trail hike. So I just wanted to do a gear video, another uh, 2018 gear video for you guys to show you kind of what I'm working with. Um, first of all, I'm going to start with the clothes that I'm wearing. So uh, I'll start. I've got the Ultra Superior 3.5s. I'll be wearing them with uh, Darn Tough uh, Vertex Quarter Link Socks. Got them. I love my Darn Tough. I've got some Spider Spider Company 6 inch boxer briefs. Um, I'm going to start with them and try it out and see what I really, you know, see if I like them or not. I don't know if I'll. Uh, you know, finish the trail in them because I've got these, uh, my Patagonia Strider Pros, uh, five inch shorts that I, I really love these shorts. I used a pair of them on the Benton Mackay Trail and I used, um, last year on the AT. So, um, bringing a pair of them with me and, um, a just button up Columbia Silver Ridge long sleeve shirt and a uh, just flat brim, brimmed uh, trucker hat that I usually always wear. Um, I'm going to bring that, uh, you know, some hat with me like that. Anyways, um, that's the clothes that I'm wearing. Um, obviously, I have a layering system in here for different, uh, different climate changes and whatever different temperatures. But I'll go ahead and uh, show you my pack is my uh, Z Pax Nero. And uh, Z Pax Nero, I haven't really taken anything off of it yet. I probably will wind up taking the hip belt off and the little thing in the back. But uh, here's my pack, as you can see. I'll go ahead and do what's in the outside pocket first in the big back mesh pocket. I've got my Talenti jar for cold soaking. I've got that. Got a platypus two liter bag. Pretty self-explanatory. It's where my water goes for camp or what have you. Got a uh, another pair of darn tough socks that'll actually go in my in my backpack. I just didn't have them packed up when I did it. So that's just an extra pair of socks. Um, now this is just a little extra stuff sack that probably won't come with me. It's just, it was in the pack. Um, my anti-gravity gear rain skirt that I really like. Um, used it on the Florida trail, used it on the Benton Mackay trail, used it on several other trails. It's a great piece of gear. Sometimes I'll use it if my polycryo gets uh, thrashed, I'll use that as a ground sheet. Um, I got a frog togs raincoat. Everybody knows them. They're frog togs. They're what I wear. Um, I've tried expensive brands of raincoats, and for 20 bucks, these things work. Um, for the start of the trip, I am going to bring the pants that come with the rain suit. They might get thrashed on me, but, uh, for you know the first couple of weeks until the weather changes a little bit, uh, I'm gonna bring them. I might keep them through uh, the Smokies if they last that long, and then uh, I'll get rid of them. But for now, they're starting with me. And uh, this is going inside too. This will probably be kept in my food bag or something. This is just a uh, like I'm using the AT guide on my phone. To my phone, I've uh, I'm obviously uh, recording with it right now. It's the uh, Motorola Moto E4 Plus or something. Um, and my stick pick is holding the phone up right now to record the video. That'll be coming with me too. This is just a, a Gossamer Gear pencil. And a, um, this is basically just, uh, uh, resupply points on the trail. Really all it is, just resupply points. But, um, I, uh, have the uh, gut hooks guide on my phone as well, and uh, that's probably what I'm going to use for navigation and what have you. Uh, 
these uh, I printed out these papers here just so I know like what towns are coming up to resupply in. Um, I also got two water bottles, obviously this is a Gatorade bottle or a Powerade bottle and a vitamin water bottle. I'll probably wind up with two Powerade bottles and one vitamin water that I like to use to mix drinks or, uh, drinks or whatever in, you know. Um, so I found, you know, I usually use smart water bottles too. I found with this pack, these pockets are just really big. There's a lot of room in these pockets. And the shorter, wide mouth Powerade bottles seem to fit better. So on into what's in the pack. I've got the two shoulder strap pouches that I use. Um, I'll probably keep stuff like my headlamp, my MP3 player, um, which is a little SanDisk MP3 player, my Petzl E-Lite headlamp. Keep that and my phone in one of the pockets. And I've also got a Suto mini compass attached to there. And in the other pocket here, I usually keep like snacks for the day or whatever. Right now I've got two Cuban fiber dry bags, zip pouches. One of them I use for my wallet, one of them I use for my phone and stuff. Um, and in this other pocket during the day, I usually will keep snacks throughout the day in there so I don't have to stop and dig out my food bag, what have you. So I'll keep snacks and drink mix or whatever in there. Then into my pack here. This is the uh, z pack Nero pack, made out of uh, uh, Dyneema Cuban fiber fabric. Pack weighs like 10 ounces. Um, in here I've got the food bag, just about four days worth of food in here. The z pack new updated food bag, and I keep uh, my bear rope in there, I keep my spoon in there, obviously I keep my food in there, and that's primarily... Uh, you know, I'll keep other stuff in there. Like if I'm in a downpour or something, I'll keep my wallet in there or whatever, you know, during the day when I'm hiking. Um, got a, my light load towel, which is nothing big. It's just a little light load towel. Um, I keep that. I usually keep it on the outside, actually. I've got my electronics bag right here, which is simply my Anchor Power Core 10,000. A little USB wall charger and a two cords to charge my phone and the power cord when it runs out of juice. So that's my electronics. I've got my tent. Tent is a tent that I've loved for a long time. This is a Z Pax Hexamid. With that Hexamid, I got a piece of polycryo for my ground sheet, and I sacrificed the weight, and I actually used a little bit heavier piece of polycryo. I used the heavy duty polycryo, so it adds a little bit of weight, but that's okay because it's tough as nails. Got that. Got eight carbon fiber Rudel Core tent stakes, six inch. <coughs> um, and my z pack Hexamid tent. Inside there I have my luxury items, would be my point four. It's less than it's like point four ounce medical pillow. Put a straw in here, and you blow it up. And I've used them in the past, and I really like them. So that's my pretty much sleep system right there. It's in the bag now. I'm not sure if it'll stay in the bag or not, but that's where it's at for now. I got my Diddy's bag here. Just a little. Diddy bag, my possibles, my first aid, my sewing kit, all that stuff's in here, in there. I usually start the trip. I, I like to take the weight penalty and I like to carry a little gold bond. Just a little travel size gold bond. I really like that. It's good for them humid days that the AT is notorious for. In here, just very minor first aid kit. Uh, I've got repair tape. I've got a lighter. I've got some extra SD cards. I've got a little sewing kit, um, some super glue, little mini super glues, some Neosporin. And in here I've got a, a toothache medicine. This one's got some ibuprofen in it, uh, some anti diarrhea, some uh, toothpaste, my toothbrush, and uh, 
that's about it, you know. It's got just basic little stuff in there uh, that I, you know, that I'll use. So, um, and that's it. Last thing in my ditty bag is the, my Aquamira that I repackaged in the smaller bottles. My Aquamira drops. Um, you know, it's Aquamira. That's my water purification for the few times that I decide that I that the water's questionable or you know that I want to purify it or what have you. Um, I'm pretty lenient towards that, and uh, you know, some people would consider it foolish, but. I've never had a problem with getting sick on the on the trail, so you know, knock on wood, we'll see. Um, so we're into my dry bag stuff now. Extra clothes for my warm layers. I've got three quarter length synthetic compression bottoms. I've also got a. Ibex or Icebreaker Merino Wool Long Sleeve Half Zip Base Layer. I've got a Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisperer Jacket. I've also got a Black Rock Gear Down Beanie. I have a pair of just smart wool, merino wool glove liners, and a little, it's called a micro smart wool beanie. It's just micro, I mean the thing weighs less than an ounce, it's really thin, but I figure that extra layer. Here I've got a merino wool smart wool buff. It's the buff that's merino wool, you know. Um, I'll probably wind up cutting it in half because I really don't need anything this long. But, there you go. Um, that's all my insulation pretty much. And uh, in my quilt, it's a quilt that I used on the Florida Trail. I've used it uh, on the AT this year. For last year I used it on the AT. And it's the uh, Hammock Gear Burrow 20. Short length, wide width. Been a great quilt, still going strong. Doesn't even smell funky anymore. So, um, that's my quilt. And uh, keep it all in a nylo fume bag. And my Gossamer Gear Thin Light pad, which uh, might change to a Possibly a um, Thermarest Z light to start with. I'm not sure yet. It might not. It might. I'm gonna weigh out the option, see how much room it takes up. Um, and then again, my pack, like I said, the Z packs, Nero, two shoulder strap pockets. I'll probably wind up taking this sleeping pad holder thingy off of it. Maybe the hip belt because I don't really use it. Um, and that's it. That's my gear, guys, um, for my upcoming AT hike. Uh, my base weight, I'll add a lighter pack in the description down below. My base weight is uh, sub 7 pounds. I think it was um, 6.34 or something pounds, something like that. Um, but I added the Kalenti jar, so it might have took it up to 6.5 pounds. And that's my gear. That's what I'm going with. If you guys have any questions about my setup, anything like that, feel free to give me a shout out. Thanks for watching guys. Box car out. That didn't work. Let's push it again.